Well, that was disappointing. Um, not much. Well, I guess the first half of this game was good for Toronto. They were up four nothing. Reminds you of a simple game where they're up four one against Boston, and they ended up losing that game in overtime. But anyways. I'm trying to be positive. I wasn't uh, too overreactive when Mar uh, Matthews got that four goals. So I'm not going to be trying to be too overreactive about this game. So Carrick with his first of the season followed up a nice rebound. But pretty much an open net goal for him. Smart play by him. Next, uh, Calgary scores with a nice shot from the low slot. After that, Nylander finishes a beautiful pass from uh, Matthews on the power play, which was their first power play goal. And eight seconds after that, Kadri finishes off a beautiful pass from Nylander for uh, his second of the game. So, Nylander is looking pretty good this year. He's got one goal, three assists, I believe. Um, Matthews is going to he looks pretty good with Matthews. They got pretty good chemistry. They almost got a goal in overtime. He sent Matthews on a breakaway. Then he made the saves, and we all know what happened next. But, uh, so yeah, he looks like he's going to be a pretty good player, especially playing with Matthews. And as for Anderson, um, you can say, yeah, he let another uh, five goals in. But most of them weren't his fault. He looked actually pretty good in the... First, uh, guaranteed the first half, they're up 4 nothing, And uh, Winnipeg had seven shots to Toronto's zero shots. So uh, he played pretty well. The first goal he had no chance on. Second goal, line A. Wicked wrist shot off the bar and in. He really didn't have a chance. Same thing with Shifley. Uh, a block shot, bounces right to Shifley, puts it top corner. The fourth goal... Anderson was a little bit aggressive, but uh, nice one-timer goal by Liney. And then the fifth goal, he could have had it. He should have played the shot a little bit more, but still a wicked shot top corner against him. So obviously I'm not blaming this one on Anderson. He uh, played pretty good, and he just these perfect shots pretty much beat him, and uh, he could easily bounce back and... That's, it's only his first three games of the league, so let's not overreact like we usually do. Give him a shot, and maybe he'll actually perform like we expect. So I advise Leaf fans to calm down after this loss. They, uh, yeah, they blew a 4 nothing lead, but they're still 1-0-2, so it's a decent record to, for your first three games. It could easily be 3-0, you know, so just kind of hang in there. You know how it is. This is... How frustrating it can be to be a Leafs fan, but yeah, just like, comment, and subscribe, and have a nice day.